Well, how this will impact you, the consumer, remains to be seen. What we did find out is that this will cost brewers about one penny for each can. You stack it all up, that amounts to a whole lot of coin. Oscar Blues, for example, in Longmont prides itself on its marketing expression that it is the original craft brew in a can. Since 2002, Oscar Blues has only put beer in a can. Marketing director Chad Malis says the tariff definitely puts them in a tough spot. So if you look at uh, an increase of 20 to 24 cents per case, it would uh, affect our business about $400,000 a year. The Colorado Brewers Association lashed out at the president. Most of their rhetoric, it's their position, the positioning themselves as the champion of small business, and this is going to have the opposite effect. But some brewers, like Great Divide in Denver, say the cost of cans is minimal compared to what truly makes their beer so special. We look at the cost of our beer as the direct materials that go into that beer, so that's going to be barley, hops, water. Operations Director Bill Birch says he's unsure if the cost will be passed on to beer drinkers. As things like this happen, we have to actually evaluate the cost of our product and then we price it accordingly. One thing is certain, the big beer makers aren't happy. Miller Coors tweeting, we buy as much domestic can sheet aluminum as is available. However, there simply isn't enough supply. Supporters of Trump's tariffs say that's the point. This will bring the steel and aluminum makers back to the U.S. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.